Welcome everyone to the location and fight guide for Frostma the Mountain Terror. The boss can be found on the Hallowed Mountains. The path the boss takes is shown on the map with a blue line. This boss has six main key points. During the fight you will get slowed and frozen a lot. When you are frozen you can move or attack. If you receive any damage while being frozen you will be broken out of this freeze unless the ability applies a new freeze. The boss's normal attack are three slashes in a row. The first two with a single claw, followed by the last one with both claws at the same time. A single slash does a decent amount of damage, but all three combined can lead to a large amount of damage. The boss will raise his claw in the air, followed by slamming it down, causing a big frost explosion to occur that will move outwards from underneath the boss, dealing a decent amount of damage and roots you into place for about three seconds. When the boss runs in an arc with an ice drill behind the boss, Shortly after, the boss will face your way again and slams with both of his claws. When hit, this does a decent amount of damage and freezes you into place for about 2 seconds. The boss also has a projectile attack. The boss will fire 3 frost projectiles at you. Each of these projectiles will deal a decent amount of damage and freezes you into place for about 4 seconds. When the boss is a bit lower health, the boss will summon a snowstorm. During this storm, pillars of ice will erupt from the ground. When hit, this does a decent amount of damage and chills slash slows you for about 2 seconds. Also during this storm, the boss is hunting you. When hit by the boss, this will deal a decent amount of damage and freezes you into place for about 2 seconds. Also when the boss is a bit lower health, the boss will fire a beam of frost from left to right in front of the boss. When hit, this does a large amount of damage and freezes you into place for about 4 seconds. After defeating the boss, you will gain the Frost Vortex ultimate ability. You will conjure a frost storm that will deal 100% magical damage and pulls enemies towards the center. The storm will last for 6 seconds and deals 480% magical damage and chills enemies over these 6 seconds. Also, the Frost Vortex is great in farming tombs. If you have 6 tombs with a fence around it like in this clip, you will be able to place the Frost Vortex in the middle that will cover the whole location. You can now also craft scrolls in the paper press. I hope you enjoyed this guide and if you want to see some live content you can always come and visit me at twitch.tv slash Chiraku. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.